Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity and in this video session we are going to cover reading number 12 technical analysis which is part of quantitative reading. Okay. Uh, typically what we can say is like you can expect one question in the morning and one question in the afternoon examination from this topic. So you should not get into too much detail from the book because in the book they have written in uh, too much detail. What I would require is that you should watch this video and Okay, after watching this video, you can go straight into the problem solving, right? There are mostly the questions that will be there in the examination will be of uh, theoretical type or analytical type. However, there can be some questions wherein calculation would be required that we will cover when we are watching this video. Let us see what are the learning outcomes of uh, this particular reading. First is they are asking you to explain the principles of technical analysis, application and assumption. Then construction of and interpretation of the different type of charts in the technical analysis. Then use of trend, support, resistance line and the changes in the polarity. Identify and interpret the common chart patterns. Common technical analysis indicator, price based movement oscillators, sentiments and the flow of funds. Okay, and the use of cycles by technical analysts. Then key tenets of Elliott wave theory and importance of the Fibonacci number. Okay, and then they are saying that describe a technical analysis as it relates to a technical analysis and uh, asset allocation. So I have numbered the uh, slides as per this uh, LOS numbering so that you have an idea about what LOS is covered. But typically I would say that just follow the flow of the uh, class and that should be sufficient from the examination. Now what is the technical analysis? Please note that technical analysis is a form of security analysis just like your fundamental analysis you have. It is a form of security analysis wherein you use price and volume data of the security that is past price data, past volume data and using this you try to uh, analyze the security whether you should buy the security or sell the security. The data, this price and volume data is displayed graphically. Right. Now, this uh, technical analysis can be used on a wide range of financial instruments like equities, bonds, commodity and currency futures. Right. So, it is not stuck to only equities, you can use in many places. Okay. Now, what are the assumptions that are there in the technical analysis? The technical analysis, they are basing their assumption that the prices of any security is determined by the supply and demand of that security. Okay. And this supply and demand are result of action because the in, of both the rational and irrational investors. Note that they are saying that all the investors are not rational in the market. There are irrational investors also there in the market. So sometimes because of their irrationality, the price can increase a lot or price can decrease a lot. So the price is dependent on both the irrational and irrational investors. Then they are saying that the prices of securities, they move in trends. Okay. So, if they are increasing, you will find that they would uh, follow a trend wherein uh, the prices will increase over a long period of time and if they are decreasing, you will find that they are decreasing over a long period of time. Okay. So, the next is the price shift okay, can be observed in the market. In the market, you can see that a security is changing the price even though without knowing that what caused the market to move or what caused, what caused the security price to move. without even the cause of the price movement. So it means that you, seeing the price shift, you can say that, okay, what will happen? We, you did not need to understand the reason behind it. Okay. And then they're saying that the prices can be projected using the charts and other technical tools. So you can use these charts and tools to pre project the prices. Okay. Now, what are the different type of analysts that we know? Okay. This is covering technical analyst. Fundamental analyst and EMH analyst. Okay. Note that EMH analyst is an efficient market hypothesis analyst. What are their expectation? Technical analysts believe that the prices of the securities they adjust slowly to any new information. Okay, right? Because people take time to analyze, etc. So the price is on the basis of the supply and demand of the security, and the action they take is they look for some known pattern or known sign in the chart and then they decide on what would be the price. Whereas the fundamental analysis they are saying that the price adjusts rapidly and the price is based on economic fundamentals. 
okay and what is the action they are going to take they research the stock and they identify undervalued stock okay that is what is the reason that the stock is undervalued so they look for reason so they do the research and they under, under identify the undervalued stock then the third is the emh analysis efficient market hypothesis we know that efficient market hypothesis they do not believe in either technical or fundamental analysis so the expectation of this type of analysis is that the price adjusts rapidly or instantaneously not rapidly instantaneously whenever a, a new information come the price will uh, instantaneously reflect the new information now the price what is the price the price is being determined what they are saying is the mark the efficient price is that price which will result in giving the market rate of return to the investor what is the action that is being taken by the emh analyst so the emh analyst will do nothing so the action is they do, should do nothing and they invest passively in the market so that is the idea they invest passively in the market okay now what are the advantages of technical analysis advantages of technical analysis it's a quick thing okay you do not have to uh, go through the an annual reports financial statements like a, a fundamental analysis and it is easy to uh, do okay and it says that it does not involve accounting data okay so you do not have to worry about the accounting data here it is incorporating the economic and psychological reasons of the investor and also it gives you a signal when to buy when to sell please note that fundamental analysis it does not give you signal but here you get a signal of when to buy or when to sell okay now what are the challenges to this uh, technical analysis tech challenges is emh studies have shown that technical analysis is not useful okay the price movement it follows the path okay so they are saying that it will follow the path because if all the people will follow the trading rule it will follow the path okay and as people more and more people they attempt the strategy the strategy is known to everybody as a result strategy will not produce you the desired outcome okay note that technical analysis is very very subjective and the basis of the decision it is not constant changes over time and also i have seen that two technical analysts they would have seeing the same chart pattern people will have different different view because of its subjectivity in nature okay now next they they have said that it, a price moves in the trend but the trend it may take time to establish okay so you do not know whether the trend is there or not as a result the technical the technical analysis it lacks the price movement you will capture that you will get into the trend only after some time right so the by the time stock price would would have increased and then you would sell only after time when the price would have decreased so these are the uh, items you will it will become more clear when you go through the graphs etc